morning, good people. Welcome back to A Moment on Mondays with your girl, your sister. I'm your friend and personal growth coach, Stephanie R. Strong. And this morning, I'd like to speak to you about access denied. Have you ever watched a television program or perhaps a news program when an individual had top security clearance and somehow defected or threatened the security of the business or organization and found him or herself with their access either limited or denied? Well, at the beginning of this year, I came up with a statement of intent for myself on how I would handle people who handle their access to me irresponsibly. I would either limit their access or or deny their access to me. See, most of the people in my life really do have full access to me. But then there are those people who threaten the security of my my own person, either spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically. And when I really truly did an, uh, an assessment about who that person or those per people may be, I decided uh, how much access am I going to give that person. So I want you to think about this this week. Think about the people who who you have allowed to have full access to you. See, everybody doesn't deserve to have full access to you. So what you have to decide, is this person threatening the security of my own person, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually? And if they are, you have the right to determine whether or not you're going to give them limited access, full access, or access denied. So this week, just check in with yourself. It's really, truly not about the other people. It really is about you this time, paying attention to yourself, paying attention to your joy, your happiness, the things that help you to be stable. And if there is a person or people who continue to threaten your security in any kind of way, you will determine how much access they are going to have to you. In some cases, you may have to say, access denied and you will be within your rights. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Make this a wonderful day. It's the beginning of another week and it's full of potential and a, and a possibility and peace and passion and all of those things. Try to live your best day ever and make sure that whatever you do, that you put God first. Well, I will see you on next Monday, but until then, make this your best day ever.